Welcome back guys. It is Sunday. I have nothing on the agenda today except for getting rid of this stuff. We finally got it. I thought we might uh, go another uh, thought we might go another year without snow, but it's looking like we're going to have multiple days of snow and the first wave came through and it put down 3 to 4 inches within an hour. It just a lot of snow. But This thing's running really good, as you can hear on camera here. Probably try to get a uh, power steering pump, maybe today or tomorrow, and do a power steering pump on this episode. There's a couple things we need to do under the hood. We're going to um, put that tree, the vacuum tree, so we actually have three gears instead of just two gears. Yep, she's running good, so uh, we'll catch you here. Catch you here in a little bit. Welcome back guys, it's a different day, different dollar. We started to film working on the Bronco the other day. It was actually about a week ago. And it just got so miserable that day. I said, screw it, I put the Bronco back away and I was like, we'll get back to this video. So today, yes, there's still snow on the ground, but it's supposed to warm up to about 45. I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'm gonna cross my fingers, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. But I went to the parts store this morning, got myself a power steering pump. So this episode, we're going to be putting a power steering pump in the Bronco and going down for a little test to see how it does. We're also going to be fixing the transmission vacuum lines. So we have third gear and just kind of tinkering a little bit with the Bronco. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. I mean, I do want to get Kyle's truck moved out to the... Uh, big barn shop whatever you want to call it so we can start doing some metal fab out there uh, that's gonna come right around the corner I'm gonna actually call Kyle it might happen this weekend if he's not too busy and when we got the trailer hooked up we might as well grab the $200 truck and take it to Kyle's new shop because we're gonna start pulling the transmission in that after we grenaded it if you haven't seen that episode go check it out also don't forget to check out the Fox shop I'll put his uh, description down below and a sticker at the end of the channel. You guys can click on that and go check out John Fox of the Fox Shop. He's working on a 1993 Ford Bronco. Hope I got that right. 351 Windsor, bunch of cancer. He's got that thing about as naked as it can get. But he's starting to go back together with uh, some side panels. And it's starting to come, come back together and look like a Bronco. So if you don't know who I'm talking about, go check out John at the Fox Shop. And... Um, Give him a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like what you see. A lot of you guys know who he is. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to get working back on the Bronco today. It's been a couple weeks since I actually been working on anything. Just I've been busy with work, strangely enough, with all this white stuff on the ground. So anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna grab the Bronco and we're gonna kinda do a half in, half out of the shop today. a flat tire tubers that's not good son of a bitch I must have not got a valve stem set in there properly oh yeah these steps are going by the way look at this they just ice up get up here and you just sliding everywhere those steps ugh. those steps are definitely oh son of a bitch yeah, those steps are definitely gonna have to go, tubes. All right, I should have moved the Expedition. I have no power steering. Yeah, the Expedition's gonna have to get moved. 
All right. Turn the heat, this heater in this Bronco. Let me tell you what, it works good. That engine's starting to run better, guys. No. I don't have four wheel drive hooked up either. It's because that damn tire is dragging us down. <laughs> oh, what a place to get stuck right in the middle of the community alley. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Glad I went with the 50 footer. Hold on. <laughs> now I just gotta go find my air chuck. about getting one of those from Harbor Freight, I've loved it. You don't have to worry about your air hose getting all tangled up. Shit. Love it, love it, love it. That's how she rolls now. Oh, look at that. It rolls. Uh, oh. Uh, power steering's gonna be awesome. Perfect timing. One of the neighbors just came down the, the driveway there. So, let's get to work on this. I guess I just locked my power steering pump in the Bronco, or the Expedition. I'm gonna go get the, the power steering pump, show you what I got going on here this morning. We might have to run back to the parts store. We'll see. I did not, uh, this pump doesn't come with a pulley. So uh, we've got to pull, my, pull our pulley off our pump I think I've got a puller. I know I have a power steering pump puller. Power stump, power, power, power steering pump pulley puller. Uh, <clears throat> but I don't know if it fits this one, so we'll see. Wish it was a Saginaw pump, but we all know better. It's not going to be. So it says OE quality. This company um, says that their pumps are as good as the uh, originals. Uh, all off the bat, I noticed it's uh, got a plastic housing versus a metal housing. Got yourself some new, some new goodies in a bag here. Looks like we got a couple. Where'd they go? A couple O-rings floating around in that bag. And um, no, nah, it's pretty heavy for being a plastic. Just let it fall right off the stool here. Yeah. Uh, we'll see here. Let me get it out of the bag. Get you guys set up on the tripod. We'll get this old pump out of there. Get that new pump in there and go for a drive. Alrighty, guys. That's tightened. What's going on here? Just 
tostada. It is so rotten. Probably should have bought a belt today. All right, that's out of the damn way. Let's see if my pulley puller is gonna work on this some bitch. Yep. So it's looking like I've got that puller. Yeah. Memory serves me right. I just threw it back in here when Kyle and I used it last. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah. All my other pullers. What a mess. All right. All right, guys. So this gets backed out. These two halves go around that like that. And then this collar slides on like that. And then you tighten this flipping thing down. Should have left the belt on it, James, you dumbass. Okay, we got this. We got this. A five eights on there like that. I'm gonna try using the <coughs> persuader here. Probably should use a wrench. Oh yeah. Should never use air tools anyway with the freaking puller. I know better. I know, I know. That's how you break your tools. Did it pop? Oh. Didn't even budge it. Well, shit, let's get the pump out of the truck. Take those three off, those three off, the hoses, and um, get it up on the workbench. And um, I gotta clean a spot on the workbench. I'm gonna let this thing charge up, and uh, we'll put it in the vise, and it'll be easier to work with, maybe, or something. I don't know, let me figure something out. fuck is going on here all right guys um this it's on there so tight it's so old i physically cannot so yeah we're gonna have to <laughs> already had it moving so Let's see what we got here we're moving slowly approximately 10 hours later Ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, guys. So I've got this bracket put back on. Make sure it's correct because now I've got the uh, pulley baking in the oven. I need a haircut, I know. So we're going to, I'm going to run out here real quick with the baking. Sh yeah, just stay right here. I'll be right back. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Yeah, the pulley is on the new pump. Yep. And it looks like, looks like, so I went ahead and put the bracket on and I got the pulley put back on. I gotta take that out and I gotta take this out and it looks like, you know, I'm gonna leave that on till we're in the Bronco and probably that too. But everything looks uh, proper and correct. So, I'm gonna go get some lunch in me. I'll get this back on. Alrighty guys, all back on. Super easy. As long as you got that polar and um, things are gonna... Oops. Sorry, I already made a mess down there. But uh, yeah, as long as you got a pulley puller, these are pretty easy. Uh, I'm gonna make a mess. Pretty easy to do. We're gonna fill that up the neck a little bit. Jesus criminy. Well, that's not a good sign, guys. We um we don't got power steering, and then when I shut off the the Bronco, it back flows up and explodes, and it means I need a new box, I guess. My steering box is plugged or something's not right. God, that's frustrating. Brand new pump too. I didn't need to buy it. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome.
Well, that's frustrating, but um, you know, what do you do? I mean, so that box is gonna have to re be replaced. Plus side is I don't have to worry about taking the, dr uh, tr taking the Pittman arm off now. I mean, I ordered the drop Pittman arm last night and it's on the way, but now we're gonna need to order a whole new box. So what do you do? So uh, let's move on to our next task on the Bronco today, which is taking the vacuum tree and mounting it back there so we can get some vacuum to that transmission and make it shift. All right, guys, so I was going to take that knob, this little nub out of the intake manifold and put a tree in, but I only need vacuum for my brake booster and I need vacuum for my transmission. And that was cute. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I don't want this tree on here. That just says, that just screams vacuum leaks. Like, I don't want to buy a bunch of the plugs. I don't want, I don't need that many vacuums. We're going to hold on to this, but I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to take and cut my brake booster line. Cut my brake booster line. Plug this back in like that cut it i don't know right there see that and t in Ugh, t in with a t all right guys i know it's over overdone probably could have used some plastic if i found something but that's what i've got going on uh, get my weeble wobble ass up there There you have it. My uh, plumbing for, ah, damn it. The transmission vacuum source is, I'm gonna fall out of this son of a bitch. Ugh. Complete, all right, so, not bad at all. I actually could have, I could take a little bit out of there now but we're just gonna leave it alone. Let's go ahead and slam the air cleaner back on this sucker, clean up our mess, and go for a drive. All right, guys, well, I went to go take you guys for a drive, and this shit's happening. I have to slam. I have to slam the gas pedal and to get the, the engine to start. And I've got fuses popping under the dash. I don't know what the fuck happened. So yeah, but this might lead into a different video, but uh, we're, yeah. Alrighty guys, we're not going for a drive in the Bronco today. <laughs> so, uh, we have got some, not a wire, it's not wiring gremlins. We're gonna, well, I'm filming a different video for that. Um, just not its place today. I'm sorry we couldn't go for a ride. I really wanted to go drive this today, but um, I'm just gonna have to end it. We'll go for a drive in the next video. Um, but yeah, I've got a different video started for taking apart the dash and what we're gonna do inside there. Found some cool, interesting things, but it's not wiring, it's just switches and anyway different video stay tuned for that one but for today's video guys i'm sorry we couldn't go for a ride in the old 78 bronco but like always we'll catch you next time on central oregon shenanigans give this video a big thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you have not already and uh we've got a lot to do so we're gonna um the next video i don't know what it's gonna be for you guys but we're gonna be working on a few things we're going to be starting on like i said at the beginning of the episode kyle's 4bt f-150 out there yes it does have a 4bt cummins in it and we have not worked on it in a long time and we're going to get back to working on that and stick around for the 200 hundred dollar truck that's going to be coming up next on the channel we're going to get started on pulling the transmission out and we're going to dissect that transmission but i'm going to make the educated decision if i want to try to rebuild that transmission so uh, see you here